Okay, so, uh, what was it doing? Ah, uh, yes, the pointer pointer fun stuff. Um, okay, one thing we're going to want to do is probably take this out of here. What we're going to want to do is it's going to be in here somewhere. It's a resource, it'll be like info base, something like that. A resource. Um, Or we could just do the whole class. That should work as well. And then in the, okay, this is going to include, include that. And then over here. This will become, sorry, not this one, this one. Public of that. Hmm. Deleted function of this cannot override non-deleted function. Does it, is it just because it has to exist? Is this what I'm looking at? Explicitly defaulted constructor is implicitly deleted. By what? Inaccessible destructor. What do you mean it's... Oh. It's a class, not a destruct. Okay. Yay? Yay. All right. So if that's the case, then what we're going to do is this is returning a pointer to that. So let's get to the CPP side. Add this function. What we're going to do is, what we're probably going to need is some kind of function that will, what, what will, what will it do? Hmm? We have the ID, we have pcreateInfo. So, probably like need a vector of something like s functions. So, that'll take in what? Will it take in the ID? No, it'll take in like the YAML node and it'll return the create info.
and this. Oh, and uh, yeah, that. Hmm. Import functions. And what we can do is we can add a bunch of these. And then we can keep going through until we figure out which one works until we get one that doesn't fail or because at this point I'm going in I don't know what kind of like I don't know if I'm bringing out like a material resource or a shader resource or anything like that. I'm going in. This will have this will be a pointer to nothing. This will be a garbage pointer that I will create. The info, the created info struct will be created inside the get resource function. But I don't really want to go through the vector one by one to find uh, the type. Okay. What I may be able to do then is if I can have like a, if I was to say in the data, I'll have something that says, you know, type information, type, type. It says this is a vertex descriptor and it's version, I don't know, one. If I read that information, Then I can pick out more, I can like go through a map of what the type is instead. Vertex descriptor version one, two, three, four, whatever. And then I can change the create info that I return to be that type instead. This also means it would be quite extensible. Extendable, extensible, something like that. So rather it'd be like a standard. So what we'd have a struct, the standard stream. Type key, I guess, something like that. And it'll be a map between that and this function. Make it a bit easier. And if it's a type we don't have, then we can just say, hey, I don't have the importer for this type. Something like that. OK, 
can make can I make a hash of this? I might be able to. Ah, uh, whatever. Then we'd also need something to like bool. And then we'd also have uh, maybe the ability to remove importer. Okay. Okay. Hmm. And then that me okay, so this would be brought in by the the YAML importer, this high level, and same thing would be the editor and index ID stuff and they would delegate to like all this other data should become like a data node data something like that i think maybe maybe because i need to isolate it from all this other top level stuff somehow Okay, at any rate, um, If it's not the end, then we're going to have to like turn false for whatever reason. So include, we already have a faux log, so. Something like that. 
Otherwise, we'll add it. Um, Basically, it becomes almost the same thing. Then, at this point, what will happen is... Would I w wait, hold on. Would I want to create the create info function before I pass it in? Um, no, I, I can't know it beforehand. And there's no way for me to create it beforehand either, is there? I don't think so. Unless I know the size beforehand, and then I'm doing like a C style new and free, or not new and free, malloc and free. But then that's like getting into some weird business. Okay, let's just not do any of that quite yet. Let's just go through what would happen first. First of all, I need to find this thing. Does it exist here? Start with the root node. We go through this. If Okay, we got resource nodes. We're now here. We have the resource node. Then we want to go through. We'll have to do some kind of file um, import type info create something like. Um, we need to create a key, anyways. something like this. Uh, 
whatever. For the moment, we'll just assume it's there. Otherwise, we have it. We're going to use the importer system. We'd like to m uh, search iterator second, and then we'd give the function types, which would be what? What was it? The node, and then. A pointer or technically this one. Then we try to return that. Try all this. Does this this um because we have to do a try catch around this. All this stuff really. Catch this is the catch I want. Catch whatever else we may accidentally have.
Okay. Let's see if this proof of an idea, or if this idea proves itself. We'll have, we'll work with armature, since there's only one of them. I already did that. So in here, we'll have another one, which is just close, it takes in a different type, that, and it's this. do I already have in here? Hold on. Oh, I didn't even... Well, okay, that kind of makes sense, but not really. Okay, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to commit these other changes I already have. Search paths, no. Okay, we don't want this. Don't want this either. What we do want is just the bottom part of this, or the top part of this. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, it's close these for the moment. Mm-hmm. has been not abstracted but delegated the caller
with um, okay got some stuff locked away okay where was I yeah uh, armature public so something very close to this except So what I want to do is I'm going to create this right here. Then I'm going to call the other function, the node and the CI. And if it passes that and does an exception out at this point, then I will go like to that and then th that also means I don't actually have to deal with the catching here Really, I could just let it kind of filter down to whoever's using this stuff. Okay, mm, not quite, not quite at all. Here, find key. Okay, so this actually doesn't work. What if this was a standard pair, maybe? make a do you work now will you at least error out later that is the question At 107. So, yes, that will actually work. I'll take it.
32, yeah, whatever. Okay, importer. Where do I make the importer? Wait, it's part of the uh, entire class type, so it's actually probably yellow importer. That actually does mean I want to add here. YAML node and const YAML node and this. Do you just not know what this? No, you know what this is because you got it from there. Okay, does this know what it is? Yes, it got it from that. Am I, it's just like, uh, yeah, no, it's, no, it's broken. Oh, it's looking for a void. It's looking for a void. Which makes sense, I guess. Overload of that matching null pointer for first argument. Is it just like, does it have to be an end? Like, this is. Do I just not have the func? No, it should be available. Am I crazy? Maybe I'm just crazy and this isn't the thing I'm looking for. I'm pretty sure that is it. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's... That's it. Okay, what if I just say specifically, hey, it's version uh, two. Okay. Now it does. Yeah, now it does. Roll my eyes real hard and okay.
I added the importer up above, so I just need to get resource. With the ID being this. And this. That we go inside, we got the resource. Do, 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 do. We don't want to do that. What we want to do is p p create info. Well, it didn't crash out immediately, so that's a positive. So let's see what we get out of here. I don't think we got anything. No, we did get something because it was no pointer when we. So. It's uh oh right because I don't know what type it is is it. Cube tower FBX that and that. It got all the data out correctly, too. Mm -hmm. All right, I think I'm liking, I'm liking this half of the solution right now. I mean, I'm not entirely enthused about the fact that I'm throwing pointers at pointers and relying on the fact that this will get the right thing back out. But... I don't really have much choice if I want something that's extendable. Easily extendable with minimal fuss. Of course, I have to be aware of... No, no, because I do check uh, if the import is already used. And I just refuse to add it. Hmm, hmm. So what I would have to do at this point is I'd have to work on the other half of the equation. I Let's say I've added the node and I passed it back to uh, the armature loader, which will be here. So uh, let's see, I got something by this point, I've got something back. Then I need to, I know I have a this type back. I have this. So 
I do this, I call the import function, which um, this is going to get subsumed by the by something better in a short little while. And then, like, I guess what I'd have to do is, much like, actually, I already have this kind of in mesh, right? In mesh loader, once I get the base class back, then I can go through dynamic casts to figure out which one it belongs to and call specific function. Because if there's multiple versions, like there's an armature loader 1, 2, version 3, version 4, version 5, or whatever... As long as I have all those versions of armature loaders here, I can go through, like, is this the create info for you? Is this the create info for you? Is this the create info for you? And once I've gone through all of them, if none of them accept it, then I can return false and say, I can't load this. So import function will be kind of like changed over to like pro like mm, not import function but load function processing function something like that because the data is all getting imported by someone else outside external to this Okay, let's work off of that then. So, armature loader currently only has this one, this kind of very basic one, which is terrible. Of course, this th these loaders, importers and loaders would have to be... ...brought in from outside as well. Or, I mean, how, because hmm. I don't want to, a lot of the stuff that's inside of these are private in information although whoops although I'm like all I really do need is the data if I can just if I just have that I mean that's already public right now so if I can have like a public struct load it in Okay, oh, it's actually running in the background. Wait, hold on. It did. Whoa. 
Did it freeze after some time? Or what? Oh no, it was paused because I was looking at it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, is there another way? Okay, so that's... Uh, I'll look at the loader sides in a moment. I just... Is there another way I can do... Like, I... Do I have to rely on inheritance to figure this out? This and dynamic cast. Is there like a C... Hold on. C... Uh, dynamic cast for C. I mean, I know it doesn't exactly have a dynamic cast, but is there like a, a parallel for C? Um, And a cast type for C. Because the only one I know of is okay this isn't helping the only one i know of is the vulcan type where it's just like each every single struct has an s type but that means you need to know all the types beforehand so you can't extend it as easily if like um if i was just like some plugin creator i wouldn't actually have the ability to add my new S type to the end of something else and then that would also run into if I was to extend a previous enum that runs into the possibility of me uh, overwriting with the same as another type which would be problematic even under the same like armature if I have two different armature extensions then they all choose let's say version I don't know the next enum up and that's just that's just going to be bad news So, okay, I'm going to have to go with the C++ style for now. So I don't really know what other way to do this. Actually, I'm pretty sure, like, I don't have the address sanitizer on at all. Like, I am pretty sure there's a lot of, actually, I can do two, can't I? Yeah. Let's cut this for the moment. We'll recreate it and we'll just see how it, uh, if there's any address issues I have to deal with right now. Okay. I don't think I can actually run in debug mode, otherwise that screws it up. So just run fo and, um, Hey, uh, 63 allocations, 46 kilobytes, very bad. So don't know about this, don't know this I might know. Oh yeah, these I just, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Wait, no, it doesn't. I created the new vertex descriptor. I added to the pool. The pool should be deleting these. I'm sorry. What?
What about something else? What about this Requ request resource load? What what's your complaint about load resource? I go inside this thing. The shader, the shader I create and that's being added to the pool. Isn't been. Okay, destructors, initialize mesh material that, 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 okay. Is there an armature pool? Oh, it's right there. Okay, very interesting. Uh, cool. I am not being responsible for deleting these things right now. So let's. It's a shared object. Don't know why it takes so long to link. Okay. I'm gonna die. Okay, yeah. Uh, meshes are being destroyed despite having active references. Cool. Okay, 11 allocations. So that's a bit easier. Four, five, four. Yeah, that's outside of me. That's okay. These are outside of me. Don't really care. These ones are ones I do do. So what's the deal with these? Okay. Ooh, it's the creation of these plugins. Sixteen bytes. Really? That's it. Yeah, I guess there is nothing in here, really. Um, okay. I need to like rethink this plugin for maybe I still have application. Is it, like, do I have these items? Where is this? Added, 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 added. Here. Increment, decrement, use count. Okay. I'm going to presume that this is because I have
I've probably incremented the incremented a reference armature having active uses makes sense but these references are probably because like i added i incremented the reference when i was going through the loading functionality and i never went and decremented the reference after i was done which looks to be the case here image and it was for a mesh as well or hold on oh no it's because i need to do it through the uploading data once i'm when i'm uploading it um, that was unload requests where's upload requests cost resource load start upload Process upload, here we go. Okay. Do that. Do that. Okay. Otherwise, it's still in use, and we've got to do the same thing for mesh loader on the unload or the upload. Tectrament ref count. Same deal here. Okay. Come back out. I didn't even recompile, which is why that is still a problem. But once I do, and I did fix the armature one as well. So te technically, once I come out now, and I've deleted everything, it should say, hey, there's no problems with the counting here. You can count numbers. Yes. And that just leaves these little issues with uh, the model file upload, in, uh, import plugins being created by new and not being deleted after. Hmm. We're an hour in. Okay, we're not here yet. Okay, we'll do the When Then we do, nope, yes, 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 these ones.
Okay, so minor issues dealt with. We'll just kind of leave address stuff there for uh, as a constant reminder of my failures. What I want to do is I need to, okay, I need to focus in on the armature loader side, the other side of this. I need to get the full system all the way through. It's a foolproof of concept. So, re, uh, uh, yeah, armature loader and the source. Uh, okay, what if, um, so we say we're loading, and then I have a function, basically says, hey, you know, this data, this is the public piece, that's what I'm looking for, that's what is supported on this armature type. I mean, I could also, can I also support different types of armatures if I go through with this then? That's actually another thing, isn't it? But you wouldn't know what type of armature it is when you start out. You just know it's that, like a start. Hmm. Maybe. What about material? What? How does material work? Like that's mutex. The data has direct pointers to what you want. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay, what is, okay. <laughs> Let's do a little thing, namespace. Let's just put it into a empty function right now that just returns, I mean, would it return something? Like it'd be a bool. And it would take in like, a star. And then it would uh, spit out, if it succeeds, it'd spit out um, these, I guess. Or more realistically, it'd be one of these.
Okay. First of all, I need to do like if Armature is just that. That's that's it. It's just that. So would it be data dot If not that, then this as well, basically. Okay, then this would be changed up to what it the that star star. Right? Something like that. Photo resource ID that star star. Would it be would it be bool? Yes, it would have to be bool. Okay, we go back to here. This is a bool, right? Git resource, yes. Star star that. Go back to application, we change this up. Instead, it's just this function or ooh yeah hmm it's not a loose function or a um, standalone Have to be standard bind. Or 
or mm, how does standard bind even work anymore? Or does it even? Mm, no. Well, some bits were deprecated, but they're still there. Placeholders. F okay, foo print some. Okay, there we go. I'm um, so what the hell is going on? Okay, I need to do kind of like I need the standard placeholder stuff. So I'm not entirely on board with this, but it's closer to what I'm probably wanting. Placeholder. There's. Okay. So let me just get rid of that. There's this kind of weird little thing. We don't need new data now, we just need that. So, I am pretty okay with this entire s process going through the, this uh, arbitrary importer system with the types 
and the versions, getting the data from a common base, bringing that data into the loader, and having the loader go through a bunch of functions with that data, trying them out through dynamic cast to figure out which one is successful. So this would also like, so the loader would also have like some kind of a map or not a map. It'll have a vector. It'll just run through the functions available and check the dynamic casts really fast or something like that. Load it, spit out the data, and then the data will be used for further processing. This should give me a, enough flexibility and extensibility without having to make massively crazy uh, armature systems. Probably. But it also because armature loaders and such. Hmm. Can still. Hmm. Because our much because because resource loaders are still assigned to individual resources uh, when they're created. That does mean we can actually still create different types of armatures as well if, if we can't just use this by itself. I think. Um. It's just, just really just a whole lot of me sitting here thinking of running through the possibilities, the possible downsides. But I'm liking this overall idea. It's going to definitely require some refinement as really the entire resource system kind of needs a refinement to pass or needs a minor overhaul, fix up a couple of issues. It needs refinement is basically what I'm saying. But I think I can work with this system. This system is lightweight, not lightweight. I mean, it is fairly lightweight, but it's just thin. It's thin enough. That's the word I'm saying for looking for. It's a thin enough system that it's not too deep that so it can e be fairly easily reasonable reasonable you can fairly easily ease oh my god you can fairly easily reason about the system as a whole as well as not too difficult to replace components and parts or to add new ones without having to go without having to go like into super deep complex systems i mean it's kind of complex but also, it's kind of simple to my mind, I think. It's something that's... And it's fairly easy. Because, like, look, the loader's barely even 200 lines. Uh, yeah, the loader's barely 200 lines. Add in... And that's including with the uh, process info stuff. And then you have the distributed YAML, which is, like... Another like 40 lines to get resources, arbitrary resources, plus, you know, a little bit of code for adding and removing importers. Well, this will go away in a moment. Yeah. Yeah, I think I can, I think I can live with this. And I think I will. So I'm not going to do any of the others tonight. I think I'll kind of settle and sleep on this. 
and I got to figure out a little way to do this a little bit better. But I'm pretty okay with how this is right now. Yep, I think I am. Cheers.